Hello, hello, hello. I'm coming at you today with about seven minutes of guidance from my Manifesting Your Masterpiece book. You can buy it on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. So after a shuffling, I have landed on June the 22nd and June the 23rd, the days that our lives will return back to normal. Just jokes. So June 23rd says, know your true nature. When you know your true nature, you will never go without or be without. Connect with the vastness of your inner being, the real you that is never ending, immeasurable and infinite. Your healing power, your true power and the realization of your heart's desire are rooted in the degree to which you accept and leverage the certainty that you are a spark in the field of pure potential. Light your flame so that you summon the universe's fire. The question is, when is the last time that you deeply, deeply connected with your inner silence and felt empowered? Now, before I actually, you know, I use this book as an oracle, which you should too. And it is about the current situation. It's interesting because I have a video after this plan to talk about the importance of going within and the, the 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 necessity to really realize that you have to connect with the unchanging timeless fearless field of pure potential that is within you okay and so in order to to to, to really be able to appreciate the vastness of your experience and the beauty of who you are and to feel grounded in the midst of everything that's going on that's my dog she is not grounded at all alby hush same people come to the door every day. She does the same thing. Alby, come in here. Sorry about this, but I have to finish this video. It's one in many that I'm doing that I'm batching today. Alby, stop it. Okay? So your ultimate stability, your ultimate rootedness, your ultimate grounding is going to be found in the inner aspect that is you. That part of you that is the I, when you say, I want this, or I want that, or it is I, or when I look at you and I say, where are you? Where are you? You're everywhere and nowhere at the same time. You are consciousness, okay? It's that part of you that is never fleeting, okay? That is always there, that watches all parts of your experience and wonders why you are so afraid and why you are allowing your outward experience to determine how you feel inside when there's an aspect within you that is the most powerful, immeasurable, and fearless part of your entire experience. So this is just really beautiful. Okay, so we need to not be so reliant on the things that are outside of us. When you are grounded within your own being and when you are, Sophia, make her stop. And when you are, when you are grounded within your own being, she's on quarantine too, guys. So she's having a tough time. Uh, yeah, like you don't flow with the wind. There's a part of you that's constantly rooted and standing straight up and is grounded and secure within your inner being. So that is the part that you have to connect with at this particular time, okay? The second quote for June the 22nd, dream and dream big, dream specific details and then show up big, welcoming higher guidance and being ready to receive inspired directives as to how to make your dream a reality. Every day, show up and pretend that your dream is coming true because it is. Expect it with passion. It's in the cart. Despite appearances to the contrary, your dream is always in the cart because you created it with the energetic force of your thoughts. Here we're talking about mental transmutation, the Kavalian. The energy is more real than its physical counterpart in the early stages. It has to be this way because the energy of belief, expectation, Passion and inspiration is what brings things into physicality. Manifest your dreams by intensely and sincerely believing in them and then taking the steps towards the full realization of your dreams in stages as guided. Guided by spirit. By taking the steps, you are opening. Could you go get her, please? Make her stop. Ooh. By taking the steps, you are opening yourself up to receive. When you have dreams and you are waiting for the spirit to direct you and you're following your intention and you get that guidance and you don't take it, you're not allowing in the 
the, the little miracles and the synchronicities. What you do is you stop the flow of the very thing that you say you want to manifest. You must trust and have faith so that your intentions and the energy you send never falters. This is what causes you to desire. This is what causes your desire. What? This is what causes what you desire to manifest and arrive or this is what causes what you desire to manifest don't waver what can you and will you do each day consistently to show up big for your dream what can you and will you do day in and day out consistently to show up for your dream you're with tanisha ali helping you to gain clarity to clear and heal energetic blockages to up level your mindset and to manifest the glory of god that is within you and now is the perfect time to do it keep visualizing and keep dreaming while you're in quarantine you have more than enough time have a beautiful lovely day